I'm interrupting this B-roll sequence to bring you the least satisfying thing I have ever seen in my life. I want to change it, but I don't know how. Ah! Pockets are a bit small for my phone. Good morning, guys. Good afternoon, actually. It's a Saturday, and I think this is also the day the video, the, this video is going to go online. Yeah. No, it's a Friday. Sorry. It's a Friday. I'm getting the days confused. It's lockdown. Please excuse my lockdown brain. We shall start um, talking about lockdown brain. I think it's a real thing. I keep forgetting everything. Anyway, welcome to a brand new video. I don't know why I'm starting it looking into a mirror. But there we go. A bit different. Wearing a new top I got from our friend Penny, Star Stella Manila. They bought her this like corset star top. I think it's really cool. It makes me feel like I'm a superhero. I don't know. <laughs> Do you know what I mean when it's like this kind of thing? Anyway. Welcome to a brand new video today. We have got a little bit of an errand running afternoon to do and we thought we'd bring you guys along. We're actually gonna be checking out our new neighborhood and we thought it'd be fun to go into the supermarket there, explore that area a little bit more and kind of compare it to what we're used to now and kind of get used to our new life there, get used to how different it's gonna be. Maybe it's gonna be very similar, I've got no idea, but I'm currently trying not to be sick because I just downed a protein shake, so if we can um, not do that, that'll be a really good start to the vlog. Basically, protein shakes sometimes make me feel a bit sick. I don't know why. I think it's because I drink them quite quickly. And it's quite a lot of, um, it's whey protein, so it's a lot of cow's milk in one go. It's quite, like, intense, but we'll get through it. We'll have some water, we'll get through it. Um, and we're going to hop in Jose. We're going to head down to the car. Boo! This is why I don't do things like this. I nearly fell over. We're going to head down to the car park now, hop in the car, and drive on over to McKinley. It's a lovely day outside. It's kind of um, weird weather, it's very, it's not quite a blue sky, it is a bit of a blue sky, but it's a bit misty. You see, we can't really see the uh, usual mountains we can see, but we're not complaining. Still nice and sunny, no complaints here. Got a nice amount of washing up to do when we get back as well, so really, really looking forward to doing that later. Still doing these, how many do we have left? Is there only one left? Still doing these little daily shots from Arete. And we've got, actually they sent over a load more juices. So we've got a few of these more green juices as well. We've shown you guys these before, but must do this. There's only one of these left. So I'm gonna share it with Lucy. We've got little shot glasses actually. There they are. But we've been trying to do thing. We've been trying, I don't know. I don't think anyone will ever find the perfect routine of their whole life. Do you know what I mean? We, we're all, <laughs> we kind of realise that we're always trying to optimise everything that we do. And as soon as you get into a pattern or routine, it tends to change. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think that's pretty common, probably. For example, a few months ago, we were getting up at 6am every single day, loving it. And then recently we've been getting up more 9 o'clock. And, I don't know, doing more things in the evening, feeling more productive at night time which I know is common. Comment below if you're a night owl. Um, for example, I started like, figured out how to install Windows on our Mac so we can stream different games and stream some games that are only Windows based. So actually comment below if you're one of our Facebook community live stream viewers. Comment below any games you want us to play, any game now, because we can get anything. We're thinking of doing The Sims. We're thinking of doing The Sims and kind of like building our dream house creating our own characters on there, but there were some, I know there were some horror games that were only Windows. Luce, I've got this for you. Oh, thanks. Too good, too good. So if you want us to stream anything at all on Facebook, on our Facebook page, and if you're not following us over there, by the way, facebook.com slash the juicy vlog, or just search the juicy vlog, look for the blue tick for our, our main authentic account. There's some, there were some fake accounts going around. But cheers, gonna do this shot. This is, let me tell you what's in this actually. Otherwise you might think my reaction is exaggerated, but it's pretty spicy. We've got ginger, spicy. Orange, turmeric root, that gives it a little bit of an edge. Lemon, apple cider, and cayenne pepper. There's this bright yellow color. But every day we're doing one of these. <laughs> oh. Ah. Kind of burns your mouth a little bit, but it's addictive to flavour. So addictive, strangely satisfying. Did it say turmeric? Yeah. Turmeric, nice. Turmeric. All right, shall we get going? Yeah. Should we go see Jose? Yeah.
Hope you're enjoying today's video so far if you are make sure you hit that subscribe button okay so i actually need to put into google maps where the supermarket is because we've never been there before this is not a very nice crossing area actually to get into the mckinley area because you have to just kind of wait for there to be a time where no one's trying to cross Sometimes there's traffic guys here, which is really helpful, but today there isn't. Uh, so you just kind of have to just look oh. a lot and go, yeah, look at this little Jeep. Jeep. So. Wow. It's like open-sided. So cool. Awesome. Right. <laughs> here I we are. So there is a Robinson's Easy Mart, but I think we're trying to get to a slightly bigger supermarket. We're having to navigate because we don't actually know where it is yet. Um, so we're gonna drive around and just see if we can find it. So if anyone's watching this vlog thinking, what do you mean new neighborhood? Well, you must have not been watching the channel for a while because <laughs> we're talking about this place quite a lot at the moment. We're um, moving very soon to McKinley Hill. Uh, to McKin McKinley Hill, is that how, you, how we call it? McKinley Hill. I suppose, I think so, McKinley yeah. Hill, McKinley West? No, McKinley Hill, isn't it? We're moving to McKinley Hill and we've never been to a supermarket here. We've been obviously to Venice Mall, which, which we're just going past now. right there on queue. There you go. I thought that was a food truck outside. It looks so nice. I love the look of it. Oh, it's so such a nice looking mall. So nice. I'm so glad that's our like, local spot now. I need to be navigating you, don't I? Uh, yeah, it's been a while. Keep going like up and turn right down there. Okay, I feel like we're on a road trip. Yeah, <laughs> little excursion. This is the exciting quarantine. This is the most exciting part of my week. Yeah, like quarantine road trip How to the times supermarket. How have changed. Else. But we're gonna have to get used to this area. We're not gonna be able to go on our down here and then yeah. right. We're not gonna be able to go on our BDC night walks unless we uh, oh, there's a coffee shop there. What's it called? Archived. Mm -hmm. Let Looks me look that, that up. up. We need to get used to places around here coffee shops, restaurants that we like, and also areas to walk at night. If anyone lives in this area, let us know if there's any like parks nearby or any like green spaces or just nice walks in the evening. Just let us know if you guys are oh, archived pH. Sneaker, shoe care, and coffee. Wow. Cool. All right, I need my sneakers clean, True. actually. Um, okay, so carry on straight. Oh, I think it's just in the main mall entrance, maybe. I don't know. Apparently, it's a really big supermarket, so I'm quite excited maybe to look around. Maybe it's in the mall. That's or what I'm thinking, or maybe underneath the mall. So I, I should know. have just gone to the mall parking. You're fine. Keep going. I'm navigating. All right. So turn right at the end. There's a lot of people with electric scooters here. We might be getting electric scooters soon, guys. It might be happening. Watch this space. We'll be squeak, squeak, whizzing and scooting around McKinley Hill soon. <laughs> McKinley Hill Stadium, what's that? Oh yeah, nice. Are there shows on and stuff here? I can finally cool. put the okay. band together. You can finally put the band together. Yeah, go straight. There's so many different mall entrances as well. We're gonna... We go. Basement parking. No. Uh... No, that's for corporate centre. We're gonna one day know our way around here like the back of our hands, but right now it's all very new to us and we need to start learning. So any residents of this area, let us know any tips. I think it's in here. Or we just park in our space and walk. <laughs> That's another option. So we're now in the food hall part of Venice Mall. We've never been down this here is cool. before. I don't think we've ever been here. No. There's like loads of food. Let's have a quick look. Let's have a yeah. little quick look. Little look, new neighborhood. Gotta check it out. Got some cakes, donuts, McDonald's. Ooh. 
burgers and hot dogs Wait, and, and McDonald's. This? Right, this is one of the entrances. We need to start learning this. We do. Okay, this makes sense. All right, supermarkets yeah. this way. Yes. Let's go and have a look. So we just saw a sign downstairs saying that the marketplace is only open November 2020, which was only a few months ago, so it's a pretty new supermarket. Um, yes, thank you for coming to my bread talk. Yeah. Well, I've got this marble thing. We've got like marble seating area. It's so fancy. Pizza. There's so, There's so much. SNR &R pizza. Careful, done. Yeah. Cool. Really nice. Wow, this is cool. Oh. Something new. Something new, yeah. Right. I don't think supermarkets are generally that attractive, but this is probably the sexiest supermarket I've ever seen. It's so nice. Look at all the... Oh my God, I'm so excited. The fresh produce section looks insane. Look at all the green stuff. Wow. It's all open. There's a bit less plastic than normal because you've got some open stuff. That's great. It's all very well stocked. I mean, look how satisfying all the labels facing forward are along there. It's super nice. Loads of a huge ice cream section. Oh my God. Whoever is in charge of this supermarket, good job. You are doing very well. The apples are displayed beautifully. George has got his basket. George, everything is just stunning. Look at how nice it looks basket in here. Basket boy. Basket boy's here. This is really nice. The eggs. It? Very new and clean. It's all just perfectly uniformed. It's just lovely. It feels like it's a pleasure to come shopping here. Very nice. Wines and spirits. A ton of different cured meats and things. Wow, a whole deli here. Wow, I'm so excited to be here. Yeah, this, this is, is our new local. Something new. Love it. Right, let's go back to where we actually need to go. Oh. Got some Whopper tomatoes here, which look nice. Um, some potatoes. Quite like the openness bit as well. I wonder what oat milk they do here. Oh, not another oat milk chat. Yeah. Loads of choice of different mushrooms. All the different leaves, leaves, leaves you could think of. Guys, get your broccoli in. Broccoli is the number one vegetable, I swear. Get yes. broccoli in every day. Every single thing in here is labelled as well, so we don't have to go and get anything weighed. It seems that even though the labels aren't on show, everything's been labelled underneath. They also have some of the non-packaged, do-it-yourself kind of beans and things. We've got some kidney beans here. Are these chickpeas, maybe? Very cool. And they even have rice in these huge baskets, these huge barrels. Local rice, special rice, and a fruit bar filled with different fruits. There's even a plant section in here. So these look all right, actually. Normally supermarket plants don't look too healthy. I mean, these look quite good. They're very green. Hmm, interesting. What prices are they? This is 400, okay, quite expensive. 400 pesos, is that a good price or not for this plant? I don't know what this plant is. If you guys want to see more from us, make sure you're following our Instagram pages on the screen now. Now we do have parking in our new condo, which is close by. But we wanted to try out the actual mall parking just to familiarise ourselves with the area and we actually finessed it. We made it by three minutes, we got free parking because it's free parking here and all around the streets around here within the mall hours. And I don't know if that's just a current thing, I know a lot of places are doing free parking because of the quarantine, but very cool, very nice little incentive there. Uh, incentive? What's an incentive to you? That's not what I mean. Very nice Yeah, it's an gesture. incentive. It's an incentive for people to shop. At McKinley? At that supermarket. True, true. Uh, nice uh, only dark. until 6 p.m. Only until 6. I think they close at 6. So. Oh, that's perfect then. We're still not quite sure what we're eating for dinner. The idea no. was to come and buy some food for dinner. We just ended up buying bits, bits vegetables, some, some random stuff really. Some sauces and spices that we need to get yeah. for the cupboard. Some sandwich not, bags. Not really a set meal, but... We also haven't actually seen our new condo at night time yet. So let us know if you want us to go there soon and watch sunset with you guys. Looks very nice. I reckon in about 20 minutes. This is going to look even nicer. Yeah. Tempting to hang around for it. But we have to edit this vlog. <laughs> <laughs> what I was trying to say before I got distracted by sunset is we haven't actually seen our condo at night time, so maybe soon we can tie in going there to do something or drop something off or do something else in the condo because there's a lot to do in there. Um, we could tie that in with watching it at night time. We've never seen it at, in the dark with all the lights on, like the mall lights. <gasps> That's going to be um, nice. And I mean, I don't know if the mall's open late now, maybe maybe the blue lights of the, um, what's it called? Lake, no, what's it called? Canal. <laughs> Canal. Yeah, Venice Grand Canal Mall. 
Well done, Lucy. Um, Top marks. Maybe the maybe the lights aren't on now because they close a bit earlier these days. I don't know, but it'd be cool to see it at night. So let us know if you want us to do that soon. We want to see it. We're probably gonna do it anyway. But comment below if you're excited as we are. back from the shops got that pre-mask red nose but post-mask i always say the wrong thing i always think i'm saying the right thing and a different word comes out post-mask red nose yes i'll do a mini grocery haul we didn't actually get that much we've got a full basket's worth some broccoli some carrots some garlic our current favorite cheese which is this our favorite packaged cheese anyway obviously we love the deli stuff as well but the packaged cheese, this is currently our favourite. It's quite strong. It's nice and sharp, I guess you'd call it. And then we've got some organic spreadable butter, some courgettes or zucchini if you're American or Filipino or anyone else who calls it not that. Got a couple of chop suey mixes. I know it's lazy, but it's so helpful if we're in a rush and I want to eat a ton of vegetables. I can just chuck this in the pan and it means I don't have to chop stuff up. We got some of these which we're really enjoying at the moment. They're quinoa puffs. They've got six grams of protein, I guess, per serving. Yeah. Full of fibre. It's like a healthier alternative for like a potato chip kind of snack. Um, sea, pink sea salt and vinegar, really nice. We also like the sriracha flavour of them. We got these today. Then we got some sandwich bags, always handy if we have some meat and we need to freeze some bits, all that kind of stuff. Some tomato paste for any pasta dishes we do. Uh, some bin liners, some refills for our tissue box, some like Kleenex tissues we always use. Uh, the QP roasted sesame sauce, some black pepper because we run out. Some garlic granules which we run out. I love this stuff. Put it on everything. I also got this to try. It's chili and olive oil, chili and garlic. I think. Yes, it looks like it's just those three ingredients. It's a slightly healthier alternative. Like, um, just something to have to dip in, dip things into, or some chicken or something. We got some mustard, and then we got some brown eggs. I've not tried these ones before, but they say they're natural antioxidant, vitamin D, and that. I don't know what that says. Lutein, lutein, I don't know. These were just the ones we found, the ones we picked up. We'll give them a go, but that's the end of the haul. And it's also the end of today's video, so if you did enjoy it, please give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. We hope you're keeping safe wherever you're watching this video from. We're excited about this new supermarket, the fact that it's going to be our local. Uh, very, very excited to move to the McKinley area and I'm sure you'll see us in there a lot more in the vlogs in the future. Do you have anything to add, George? No, not no. other than... My arm's hurting, so if you could be quick. No, I can't think of it. Great, anything. thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>